This video is going to cover the basics of using the PDSpec app for the iPhone, iPad, and Android phones and tablets. For this video, we'll be taking a look at the app on an iPhone. However, the app will look and function the same way on an iPad as well as an Android device. Let's get started and go ahead and open up the PDSpec app by tapping on it. We're now looking at the opening screen. And on this screen, we're able to open an existing inspection or start a new inspection. Let's go ahead and start a new inspection. When you start an inspection, you go to, to the Choose Template screen. Here, you can select the template from either your local device or your cloud drive. For this tutorial, we'll be selecting the Commercial Buy System template from the local device, so we'll tap on this to move on. The next screen that pops up is the Save As screen, and this is where we give our file a name. Let's go ahead and name this 123 Somewhere Street. And then we'll tap on continue. We're now looking at the choose category screen. And this screen is where we navigate from category to category as well as perform other functions such as reviewing our inspection, uploading it, or emailing it. You can scroll up and down to see a list of all the categories by simply swiping your finger. To get started, let's go ahead and tap on the lots and grounds category. And now we're looking at the edit category screen. And this screen lists all the inspection items that need to be filled out for the category as well as a spot for a techno, disclaimer, and it gives you an edit icon which allows you to, to delete, rename, copy, and then paste lines. You can also mark an entire category not applicable by tapping the not applicable button which we can get to by swiping the toolbar to the left by simply checking that. Just like on the previous screen, you can scroll up and down to see all the items simply by swiping your finger up and down. There are several different ways to enter information on a line. You can fill out a line on this screen or you can enter the edit line screen and fill it out that way. We'll take a look at both methods. First, let's fill out the landscaping line. On the landscaping line, the first thing we have is the rating. The landscaping is acceptable, so we'll give it the acceptable rating. And you can select the rating either by double tapping on it or by tapping and holding your finger on the line. So if you double tap, each time you double tap, it's going to cycle through to the next rating. If you tap and then hold your finger in, it's going to cycle through the ratings like this. And once you find the one you want, simply let go of your finger and that rating will be selected. Next, we have the description. We have the same options for filling this out as we did with the rating, so let's go ahead and double tap through until we see professional. When a line is complete, the background for that line will be shaded a color based on the rating. So as you can see here, the landscaping line is complete since it's shaded green, which matches the green for acceptable. This is a visual cue letting you know that the line is finished. Now that the landscaping line is filled out, let's go ahead and move on to the next line. The parking lot line has some issues, so we're going to mark it as marginal. It's made of asphalt, so we're going to select asphalt as the description. Since it's marginal, we want to explain what the issue is, and to do this, we'll enter a note. And we can enter a note from our drop down by tapping and holding on the note until we come across the issue that we need. And you simply let go. It is important to note that the double tap option for data entry does not work on the note. You can continue working your way through this category by filling out the information this same way. Now let's take a look at the second way to enter information into a line. And to do this, we're going to tap directly on the next line for parking lot lighting. And when you do this, you see that it takes us to the edit line screen. We can easily enter the rating here by tapping on the appropriate rating button. Let's mark this as acceptable. Now we'll select our description by tapping the drop down arrow next to the description box and then selecting the proper des description. Let's say it has pull light for lighting. Now that this line is finished, we're ready to move on to the next line. There are several different ways to do this. First, we can simply tap the next button in the top right corner. We can also tap the back button in the top left corner, which will take us back to the edit category screen where you can continue working through each line. However, the simplest way is to simply swipe your finger from right to left across the screen 
to go to the next line. And as you can see, when we swiped, we went to the parking lot drainage line. You can use the same swiping motion in the opposite direction to return to the previous line. So let's say the parking lot draining is acceptable and has great inlets. You, to do this, you can tap the rating and the description like we did before, or you can simplify the process by taking advantage of the auto rating option. An autocomplete rating entry is an option in program settings. And if this is turned on and you select the description before you enter a rating, the program will automatically select the first rating for you. And this can be a big time saver since most of the items you inspect will be okay. So let's go ahead. We're gonna say the parking lot drainage. We'll select rate inlets. And as you can see, our description was input as well as the acceptable rating was selected for us. Let's go ahead and swipe to the next line. Now we're at the curbs line. Let's say this is defective and is asphalt. So we'll select defective and asphalt. Since this item is defective, we need to input a note as to why. And there's two different ways to enter a note. First, we can tap on our drop down list and simply select an answer from here. So let's say that it's correct. The second option is you can tap in the box, which will bring up your keyboard, and then you can type in the note here. So let's say this is the note. And that's a look at how you input a note. You'll notice on the toolbar, we have two icons. The first one is your camera button. When you need to take a picture of a defect, all you have to do is simply tap on the camera button and the program is gonna automatically pull up your camera on the device. The second button is your camera roll button. And so if you have a picture already on your device that you wanna add in, you can tap on this button to bring up your gallery to select the picture you want to add in. For this line, let's say we wanna go ahead and take a picture so we'll tap on the take picture button, which brings up our camera, and we'll just snap a picture of the back of the door. And on this screen, we have the option to retake the photo or to use the photo. We're gonna go ahead and tap on use photo. And when you do this, it brings up the edit picture screen. And on this screen, we can change the size of the photo. We can add markups such as arrows and text. And we're not gonna go into detail on how to do that in this tutorial. But for more information, watch the tutorial on adding markups to photos on the app. Once you're done making any markups, tap on the close button and you'll see that that photo has been added directly to the line. As I mentioned before, you can tap on the camera roll button and this will bring up your camera roll and you can simply navigate to a picture you wanna add in. And then you can tap on close and since there's multiple pictures on this line, you have the option for more, and you can tap on this to cycle through all the pictures on that line. Let's go ahead and swipe to the next line. If you're on the edit line screen and you're on the last line in that category and you then swipe to the next item, it simply takes you back to the edit category screen. Let's go ahead and tap the back button to go back to that edit category screen. When you're ready to move on to the next category, you can switch between categories the same way you can switch between lines. You can swipe to the next category using your finger. You can use the navigation here to navigate between categories, as well as you have a drop down here where you can just select what category you want to move to. Let's go ahead, we're going to tap back again, and this will take us back to the choose category screen. And if you notice, the Lots and Grounds has a yellow section in it now. This is a progress indicator that lets you know how much of the category has been filled out. Once the entire category is filled out, the entire line will be yellow. There will also be a green check mark right here letting you know that it's done. So that's a look at how to fill out information on the app. Once you're finished with an inspection, you can review it using the Summary and Pictures Review, which you can get to from the toolbar by swiping from left to right. You can also turn it into a PDF and email it, as well as upload it to your cloud drive so they can access it on your main PC. The last thing we'll be taking a look at in this tutorial is how to turn your inspection into a PDF and then email it from the app. So to do this, we're gonna tap on the email button. 
A box will appear and your inspection will first be uploaded to your cloud drive. Once the file is uploaded, another box appears with a countdown. And the average time to turn the report into a PDF and then send it to your email is 60 seconds. And this can vary depending on the size of your inspection as well as your internet or data connection. Once it's finished, this box here will pop up letting you know that the PDF has been successfully created and then sent to your email. So now we're going to tap on close and we're going to minimize the app and pull up our email. We're going to tap on our mail and it's check, we're going to check for mail. So here we have our inspection report in an email. So we'll tap on that email and here's our PDF. So we'll tap on the PDF and this is a look at the report we just worked on. So we'll scroll down to the lots and grounds section and here you can see the information we filled out. So at this point, you can simply tap on your forward button to forward this email off and send it to wherever it needs to go. This concludes the basics of entering information on the app.